Well, good morning, everybody. This week we're talking about the emotion of anxiety and how do we approach that, how do we work through it ourselves, and, and how does Scripture guide us in dealing with things in our lives that cause us anxiety and, and how to approach that as a follower of Jesus. Because the truth is, is that we are going to face things that will cause us to have anxiety. We are going to face things that cause us to have the whole gamut of emotions that we're talking about through this sermon series. And so what we're talking about this week is anxiety. And I don't know about you, but I definitely struggle with anxiety. Um, the, the, the fear of the unknown or the anticipation of what might happen is what gets wrapped up in my brain and it just circles and circles. And so something that I found to be a great help and something that actually uh, we're pointed to towards in Scripture is talking with a trusted friend about it. And maybe you're thinking right now, I know of somebody that I go to every time I have something, or I am that person for somebody else. Who, who speaks truth into your life when you don't have the answers? Or who are you speaking truth into when they don't have the answers? And who are you listening to? And that's the important component that we have here is the listening. Listening and then giving guidance in truth. So I'm going to read from, from Proverbs. And there is a lot of Proverbs that have to do with seeking wisdom and what a wise man does and what, um, what we're to do when, when we're confronting somebody that is dealing with this stuff. Um, not necessarily confronting, but, but trying to help and guide. So the, I really like this passage out of Proverbs 11. And it starts in verse 12. It says, Whoever shows contempt for his neighbor lacks sense. But a person with understanding keeps silent. A gossip goes around revealing a secret, but a trustworthy person keeps a confidence. Without guidance, a people will fall, but with many counselors, there is deliverance. So at the beginning of this, I mentioned maybe you're thinking of somebody right now. I, I know that I have specifically three trusted friends that I can go to with anything at any time and they will listen, they will offer instruction because they know me, because we've built that trusted relationship. They are a trusted friend and I know that they will be able to see outside of the realm of what I'm putting in front of me and say, but wait, hold on, remember this last time? Remember how God was faithful here? He was faithful in Scripture. He was faithful in your life. And He will be faithful again to see you through whatever you're struggling with. Um, and I can think of, off the top of my head, two very specific times that I had to open up to a trusted friend. And they offered that advice. So I guess what I'm saying to you here this morning is, we need to be that person in somebody's life and we need to have that person in our lives. You know, we look back in Scripture and even in the Old Testament we see um, probably the most pointed out friendship uh, is between David and Nathan. And how he actually called David out on his sin. And David had to listen and, and was <laughs> convicted so much so that he thought that God was going to kill him because of his sin. And Nathan reassured him and said, Surely your sin has been forgiven. And I, that's what we need to be being in, in each other's lives. That friendship that not only has the fun times and has the you know, we can goof around and talk to each other and watch sports together or uh, have a meal at each other's house. But having the real conversations of, this is what I'm struggling with and I need your honest opinion because I know you know me. 
or just sitting back and listening and being that person to somebody. I'm not saying you need to be that person with everybody. You're not going to be. I think it's, it's very, very poignant that we are that person for one or two people and be used for that purpose. That's what your friendship is there for. And so if you don't have that person, if you don't have somebody that you can go to, seek them out. Find somebody who is maybe further along in their faith or that has encouraged you with something that they've done and reach out to them. We're not all licensed counselors, but we can listen and we know the truth that is in God's Word. And if we're conveying that to each other, we can help each other through anything, whether it's anxiety, whether it's anger, whether it's fear. Because we know a God who has conquered all of that for our sake through His Son on the cross. So go be a friend to somebody. Listen and give sound advice from Scripture. Have a great week.